Hello, everyone. Welcome to Intrinsic Archives. My name is Verlaine, but you can call me V. If you are new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. In this channel, we do beauty discussions and lots of commentary. So if you like what you see and you want to see more, go ahead and like and comment down below. If you're feeling the vibe, go ahead and subscribe. Show your girl some love and hit that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to follow me on my social media, Coffee Bean V. So today we are going to be talking about the unprofessionalism of black hairstylists and black salons. There has been a lot of conversation on social media in regards to this matter, and I definitely want to put my two cents into it. Now, back in the day when you went to the hair salon, you would basically go in and have an entire pampering experience when getting your hair done. But nowadays, when it comes to booking these hairstylists, you have to basically go on their websites and see a whole bunch of requirements before you even put your deposit in. And it makes you sit and wonder, what exactly am I paying for? Now this video is definitely going to be more of a rant style video, so if you're interested, keep on watching. Now one of my biggest issues with black hairstylists today is that they no longer want to do hair. There was a recent post on social media in regards to a black hairstylist who is refusing to do 4C hair, which is extremely interesting to me because that's the main demographic that you're working with. For me, when I see images like that, it shows not only a lack of professionalism, but a lack of experience. It's extremely frustrating as a black woman with 4C hair to now have to go through all these different requirements and issues before I can even have my hair touched. Back in the day, aunties, grandmothers, and all these different types of older women in our lives were able to do our hair with no problem. And not only that, their hair would last. But nowadays, you get box braids done with somebody and it doesn't even last two weeks. When it comes to these requirements that I'm seeing on social media, I kind of think they're outrageous. Back in the day when my mom used to get her hair done, she used to have it washed, they dried it, they, they did the deep conditioning, and then they styled the hair. I remember it only taking a couple hours, and if it were to take a day, it's because my mom was frolicking and fooling around in the salon. So for me, it's just like, how is it that all these requirements, for example, come with your hair washed, come with your hair dried and blow dried, come with your hair detangled. How is it that you are a salon, you are a hairstylist that have gone to cosmetology school, have a license and is refusing to do hair? What is the point of you going to the school, getting the license, learning how to use different products to treat other women's hair, learning how to do these different techniques to detangle, different techniques to braid, but you refuse to do that in your very business? That doesn't make any sense to me and I'm not with it. When it comes to black women especially, there is always some extra charge when it comes to working with 4C hair. There's always an upcharge or there's always an extra requirement when it comes to getting our hair done, which I think is, again, outrageous. As a hairstylist, you should be able to do different types of hair, whether it's bone straight or whether it's as coarse as I could be. I can understand if you're coming into the hair salon with your hair completely matted, but that's the business i just don't understand it and on top of that when you go to white salons they do that very thing that we are requesting washing drying blow drying all these different techniques they are doing it in their salon so why isn't that our people can't do the very same thing Another issue I have with these requirements is the unnecessary photos and videos. Now, as a brand, I can completely understand you want to promote it. If you really like what you did in this particular client's hair, you want to show it off. You want to basically promote it on your social media. But there are some requirements I'm seeing out here that's saying, oh, you need to get your makeup done because I will be taking video. I think that's absolutely crazy. And these requirements are completely getting out of hand in my opinion. I have heard too many horror stories of this happening and I truly think that it's unprofessional. Another issue I have with black hairstylists is the fact that they are completely unprofessional and they could be just downright rude. There are too many horror stories on social media in regards to black women going to home hairstylists or home studios and being treated with utmost disrespect there's too many stories of women in the middle of their hair stopping what they're doing to pick up a phone call or to go eat or go handle whatever they gotta handle and then an hour two hours later they come back and then we're sitting here just like are you gonna finish my hair there are too many instances where 
a person is just inquiring in regards to a requirement or a require uh, inquiring in regards to a particular hairstyle and being clapped back with a rude response when you are running a business you have to have a level of professionalism. I'm not saying this is all black hairstylists by all means. I'm just saying the majority, this is what it's looking like. When you are running a business, they are customers at the end of the day, which you have to treat them with utmost kindness and respect. Now, I understand every now and then you gotta clap at somebody because they just not catching the drift. But you cannot do that to every single client and you cannot do that for the littlest of things. I feel like it's disrespectful, I feel like it's rude, and there's just too many horror stories out there of this. And it's the same thing over and over and over again. How is it that you guys are saying you guys need to support black businesses if you are not even giving black professionalism you can't even give us professionalism how is it that you want us to support these black businesses and give the black dollar if you're not even doing the trade make that make sense to me there are certain black hairstylists that will charge a late fee for individuals who come late which i completely understand i too am a vendor so i understand that one completely because at the end of the day they are wasting your time they're not coming on time you could have been doing someone else's hair but what about you sis when somebody comes and gets their hair done and now you are an hour late with no notice we have a problem there are too many hairstylists for example i have a friend who has locks in her hair and she recently booked to get her hair done she paid the deposit good and dandy the hairstylist not even a week before her hair is supposed to be done called her and said hey change of plans i'm having a family gathering that day i won't be able to do your hair huh she booked for you to do her hair she booked and paid a deposit i understand life happens i understand emergency happening but a family gathering ain't an emergency especially when you have clients. At the end of the day, these hairstylists, you're running a business. You get to choose what day you want to do the hair. So if a client pays for this day, puts in the deposit, everything's good and dandy, you should not be able to randomly cancel on them a week or a couple days before because you feel like it. Again, I understand family emergencies. I understand life happens, but if you just wanna go out and go shopping, baby, that's not gonna work out. It's just, it just doesn't make any sense. And these horror stories continue. I just feel like when it comes to professionalism, when it comes to black hairstylists, y'all need to do better. Because back in the day when aunties and those specific women, we know who we're talking about, those aunties in our lives or grandmothers in our lives, all those different women were able to do our hair no problem, no issue. They had no issue washing, drying it, conditioning it, deep conditioning it, detangling it with no issue, no problem. And putting braids or putting a hairstyle in our hair that will last. That will last. There is no way in hell I'm gonna pay $260 for a hairstyle and that bit is not even gonna last next week. That doesn't make any sense to me. So all you women out there who can braid, listen, you, 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 you are blessed. You are blessed. I thank God that I can braid because I don't have time to be paying an arm and a leg for somebody to just install hair on my scalp and do nothing else. Because honestly, I could do it myself. There are too many YouTube videos out here teaching women how to braid. There are too many YouTube videos out here who are doing the damn thing. Okay, so honestly, I, under I, I understand. I understand. It's a business. It's a business. Uphold your part and we can uphold ours. I just don't get it. So somebody, somebody educate me in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think of this particular video. Have, do you have any horror stories of working with a, a hairstylist or in a salon that has messed up your hair or has not done the hair properly? Let me know in the comment section because this is just a conversation that I've been dying to have for a little while now and I'm glad we're having it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.